Hey everyone, my name is Alex and in order to interact with the Cardano blockchain you need to have one tool which is called a wallet. And that's what this video is all about. So let's jumpstart your journey into the Cardano ecosphere and get a wallet. So before we start, what actually is a wallet? A wallet is basically just a piece of software you install on your PC or Mac or on your phone, which lets you interact with the blockchain. The way I like to think about wallets is like a banking app. But instead of checking your bank account, you will be checking your blockchain account. And in the same way, you can access your bank account in multiple ways, like over your PC, over your Mac, or over, over your smartphone. You can also access your funds on the blockchain through a wallet. So one key takeaway is that your funds are always stored on the chain, on the blockchain, and are not tied to your wallet. The wallet is merely a gateway or like a portal to interact with those funds. The important part, which we'll come to in a minute, is the seed phrase or the equivalent of your online banking would be your password and your ID. So the seed phrase is something you need to keep private because it's the unique identifier uh, to your funds. But we'll get to that in a minute and I hope to make it more tangible with an example. For simplicity's sake, I only want to cover the Uroi wallet and the installation and sending and receiving. Um, we will take a glimpse in the Daedalus wallet, which basically works in the same way. But the Daedalus wallet is a full node installation, so you really need to install it on your operating system. And it takes quite some time to sync the blockchain to your hard drive. So the installation process for the Daedalus wallet will take a while, uh, but I will show you uh, already synced up Daedalus wallet and how to interact with it as well. So without any further ado, let's jump into our PC and let's get Uroi on our Mac. So let's just head over to the official site, which is called uroi-wallet.com. And over here we have the, the call to action download, uh, which is a drop down menu and you can choose which browser you're using. So the wallet is available for the Chrome browser, for Edge, Firefox, Android and OS. And since I'm using the Firefox browser, I will be choosing Firefox. A new window opens, which lets us add Uroi to Firefox, which takes a while. Yes, add please. I'm gonna allow it to run in private windows as well. Hit OK, and there we go. Nothing really changed, but you see over here in the right hand side, we have this blue little icon, which is called Uroi Wallet. And if you hit it, a new tab opens, and now it's time to set up our wallet. We will select English as our preferred language. Hit continue. Of course, we will read through the terms of service agreement and agree with those. The good thing about Uroi is it really cares about the end consumer and, lets you, and it lets you choose between two different viewing modes, which are over here are called simple and advanced. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna use simple. So we now have the ability to connect either to a hardware wallet, if we possess something like a Trezor or whatever, we can create a wallet or we can restore a wallet. Because I assume you're pretty new to the cryptocurrency game, let's just create a wallet from scratch. We will choose Cardano and the ADA symbol as our currency. We want to create a wallet and we're getting prompted to name our wallet. For this video, I will call it Munich Metal Wallet. We will need a spending password, which will be tied only to your installation. So if you install it anywhere else, you will get prompted for a new spending password. And this is not really tied to your funds or anything. So if you ever lose the password and still have the recovery or the seed phrase, which we'll get to in a minute, you can still restore the wallet and set a new spending password. It's just some sort of additional security measurement so that even if someone gets your MacBook or gets your digital wallet, they just can't transfer your funds as easily. So let's set our password and create our personal wallet. And now here's the crucial part, the recovery phrase. Hit the checkbox and hit continue. What we now see is our so-called recovery phrase or seed phrase. Those 15 words are the holy grail and basically your password 
to access your wallet and your funds and to restore your wallet on any other machine. Make sure to really write down those 15 words and let no one else see the words. So for the sake of this video, I will obviously show you my words, but please, please make sure that if you're setting up your wallet, no one else can see those words. So let's write down the words. Okay, I've written down my words on my notebook and I will hit the button. Yes, I've written it down. So now we get prompted to input those exact words in the correct sequence. In our case, it's And after we selected the last word, we will have to check both of those just to confirm that you know how critical those words are. And we are set up. This is our overview dashboard. You see your total ADA, total rewards, total delegated, upcoming rewards and so on and so forth. In the top menu, you have some tabs which will let you see your transactions, which we have none as of now. We can also send ADA, we can receive ADA, we can vote if we have enough ADA to vote and we can also select our staking pool to delegate our ADA. And because this account is too empty for my taste, I'm going to fund it real quick with a bit of ADA and some custom Munich Metal Coin tokens. In order to receive ADA, we just hit the receive tab and we have over here a QR code which we then can scan with a QR code scanner or we can just simply copy the address and send the address to the one who wants to send us ADA. But in my case, I also have the Uroi wallet installed on my phone. So let's open that real quick. And I'm going to send some ADA to this exact address. So I'll hit send. And in the app version, you have the QR code scanner on the upper right hand corner, which we'll just hit that. And it just instantly scan the QR code on our screen. I will choose an asset and this is not ADA but a Munich Metal Coin which is my custom token which I'm going to send and we're going to send 350 of those tokens. We have an overview of where it will be sent and now we get prompted to our password. Let's just put that in really quick. Hit OK and we've sent it. So if we now check our wallet, which we just created, we should see an incoming transaction any second. And there we go. We just received 1.481480 ADA. We can check in our transactions tab that we received it right now. We can also expand this section and we can also see the status changing from low to medium, which is basically just an indicator of the propagation level, like how many nodes in the network confirmed this transaction. If we open our transaction, we can now see which address was the sender and which addresses were the receiver address, the upper one being our own address. And we see here our new balance, which is plus 1.4 whatever ADA and the 350 Munich Metal Coin token. If you're wondering what tokens are, they are basically a native asset on ADA. Basically anyone can come up with their own token and amount and can generate those tokens which are supported natively in the Cardano blockchain. So I've decided to make 10 million Munich Metal tokens and distribute them as a little reward for social interactions but more on that later. So now that you have some ADA, it's time to stake. Just hit delegation list, type in the pool you want to do delegate to. In our case, it's obviously my own pool Munich Metal. And then we hit delegate. This wallet can't delegate because we don't have enough funds. In order to delegate, you need to make a two ADA deposit. And since we only have 1.48 ADA, it's not enough to even meet the deposit. So as you can see, the Uroi wallet is 
pretty straightforward and very easy to handle in my opinion. But as I've promised earlier, we're going to look at the alternative, which is the Daedalus wallet. So let's switch from my MacBook to my PC where I have a fully synced Daedalus wallet available. After starting the wallet, let's just take the opportunity and add a new wallet and let me show you how you can recover your funds through the seed phrase in another wallet. So let's put in our 15 words real quick. As you can see, we can also set a new spending password, which has nothing to do with the spending password we just set in the Uroi wallet. Let it sync real quick. to go. So as you can see, we have the same balance and the same assets as we had displayed in the Uroi wallet, but this time on the Daedalus wallet. No, no we don't. We have a different amount because I choose to record the Daedalus wallet after I've made the video and since I finished the video, I knew that I needed to fund the wallet more in order to make further transactions. So I just funded the wallet, like I just sent some few more ADAs to the wallet before I even recorded the data loss session. So that's why in the screen recording you're seeing now, the funds are a little bit higher than in the Uroi wallet, which I just showed you. So that's just for clarifications because I'm an idiot and I probably really should start scripting my videos more to have more of a playbook uh, and more direction and to make it more, to give it more integrity. Yeah, but it's late. And I'm going to finish this video anyway and uploaded it, so maybe next time. Back to the video. Which helps me make my point, a wallet is nothing more than a gateway to interact with your assets and your coins on the blockchain. So I hope I could show you a quick introduction into what you need and how to interact with the Cardano blockchain. Since your wallets might be a bit empty as of now, I'm going to do a little giveaway. So for the first five commenters who comment a receive address down in the comments below, I will send some ADA and send some Munich Metal coins. And if you're quick enough, you can also check out the wallet we just created and restore this wallet and send everything which is on this wallet to yourself. But you have to be quick, first come, first serve. So I hope I could provide some value and show you what a wallet is and how to use and install it. If you have any other topics or questions you're unsure about and want me to do a video about, feel free to leave a comment down below. Make sure to hit the subscribe and like button. If you have any ADA laying around, I'd be more than happy if you delegate to my stakeful Munich Metal. I'm really excited. If you are the first one to rob my newly created Munich Metal, be sure to write it down in the comments. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.